So I was studying tonight and something hit me like a ton of bricks. <clears throat> I had been doing a study on um, heaven and earth. Like in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. And the earth was, was without form and void and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And then um, how when Jesus said, when you pray, pray like this. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven and then um, again in Luke it says um, the kingdom is within you so um, what actually happened tonight was I was studying and I can't remember exactly which verses oh okay it was on um, John chapter 3 and it talks about being born from above so that which is of the spirit is spirit and that which is of the the flesh is flesh. The um, carnal things are carnal. Spiritual things are spirit. So um, it really hit me what born again means in that context of um, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And um, the earth is without form and void and darkness is upon the face of the deep. And um, the spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. So all of that began to makes sense because Christ gives us these the gifts of peace and love and loving our brothers while what's usually happening here on earth like it says in Psalm 82 the whole foundations of the earth are out of course is that men are constantly backbiting and busy bodying so that's like the earth being out of course there and the wickedness that goes on so when God does the work in our hearts it um brings peace and righteousness and all of those good things that believers long for and um that is on earth as it is in heaven and we know that that doesn't mean out in space somewhere or because the kingdom is within so we can see how we change and the when we're born from above except you be born from above you shall know I see the kingdom of heaven and he's explaining to Nicodemus in that dialogue what being born from above means it's actually says born again but anothen means born birth from above we can see how these wicked men are constantly crowding us in and the leaven of the Pharisees and the leaven of Herod, people who bring these false teachings and false doctrines and these false leaders and they get all these men because of these um, these attractive personalities rather than the love of the truth and that's like we see how the earth is out of course and it's an internal state and we see that like how we're behaving it affects our circumstances and how we surround ourselves like if you like to party you might go to parties or if you um, don't love believers you're not going to hang out with believers but when Christ causes us to be born again it causes that order to come and it restores that order and then we have peace and light and we're cleansed by the blood and we can actually rebuke and get those wicked men out of the fellowship like the scriptures teach and reprove and whatever makes manifest is light so make those evil deeds manifest and get them out of the fellowship like it says in first timothy 5 and matthew 18 it talks about how to properly bring things up to people who are doing wickedness so I, um, I just wanted to do this video because it really struck me what being born again is and what the, like the arrangement of mankind the cosmos was thought to be made of wind and fire so when we're born again by the spirit which is pneuma the wind is the idea of breath and um, the logos was thought to be a fiery logos and the logos is what comes when the wind comes because it's actually God it's just using those terms to explain that that when the Holy Spirit comes it brings 
the seedlings of reason, the spermaticos logos, and that's how we're born again. Um, the seed is the word of God, Luke 8.11 says. So we're born again, and the, there's order that's restored in our worldviews and in our life, and it affects our circumstances, and it affects our minds, and our even our bodies. It affects our families, and there's order and instead of all the chaos that we were involved with. So that just hit me really hard, and I thought that that was an amazing truth, and I, um, it just really, really hit me when I was studying tonight what that means, and Christ brings those gifts, those righteous gifts through us and changes our heart and gives us a new heart when we're born again. And um, so we can love our brothers and we can be at peace when otherwise the world is always in chaos and it's just busy bodying and strife and anger and arguments and Christ will restore us and give us light by that new birth and we're constantly be, be ma being made new day by day. We know that there's no reason to fight and argue or have any kind of strife with people but just to give them the truth and prayerfully hope that they will understand and um, glorify God and praise Him. So praising God and living peaceful and in rest and not feeling contentious and strife all the time and that's that heaven as on earth as it is in heaven and that's the foundations being brought back into course like in Psalm 82 and and then when it says without form and void and darkness we see that the Spirit of God moves upon the face of the waters and he says let there be light and then he reshapes it and makes it new again after it, um, everything seems to be falling apart. And um, we know that that's a picture of the fellowship with those wicked men coming in. And then we purge that leaven so that um, we'll be the unleavened of sincerity and truth. Like it talks about in Corinthians. So I hope that that helps. And um, I appreciate y'all watching. I just wanted to share that while it was still fresh and on my mind. And um, I could still understand what I was trying to portray because you know time sometimes kind of um we don't see it quite the same way so all right love you guys I hope this helps all right bye